In this lesson, we'll talk about using texture maps in ZBrush. So we already kind of talked about this a little bit. There's a couple of different places that we can access our textures from. So the first thing that we would want to do to bring in some sort of a, a bitmap image to use as a texture uh, map for whatever reason, if we want to apply it to a subtool or if we want to use it for something else, we need to have it in ZBrush. So we'd go to our texture palette. Here we can see some of the images loaded up as textures. You can also come over here and see this pop up with all of these textures. Then we have the ability to go ahead and import external texture maps if we have something that we want to import. So we can go to import and I'm going to come up to the project files under images. Let's go into texture. We already imported those images. So we'll select these sort of rusty images and we can uh, basically import these in. So it kind of just brings those into our overall texture bucket here within ZBrush. We can also access textures from Lightbox and you can see that there's a number of textures in here that we can access. If we want to grab one of these we can go ahead and if we double click on that it's going to actually load it up over here as our main texture. I can also select this and choose another texture if I want to, to bring that up. Now you can see as I select this texture, it's not actually being applied to this particular tool. In the past, uh, whenever you had a texture loaded up, it was actually, you could see it sort of on your model. Uh, but in the newer versions, you actually can choose different textures for each uh, subtool that you have. So there is under the uh, tool palette for each tool, you can find a texture map sub palette a little towards the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and open that up and you can see there's a swatch here that's currently empty and most of these are grayed out. Now we can create a, create new textures here. You can see uh, there's a new texture button here. Under texture we um, have the ability to set a texture size and we can create a new texture uh, in this way. So there's a, uh, there are ways of creating new textures as well. Also when you have poly paint, uh, you've painted your uh, model and we'll look at this, but uh, you can go to create and say, okay, now that I've got the poly paint and I'd, I'd lay out some UVs for this, uh, I would create a new texture from the poly paint. Okay, and that will use your UVs to calculate uh, what that texture should, how that should be uh, configured. So if we want to add a texture map, an existing texture map, just slap it onto uh, a subtool, we would go into the individual tool down to texture map, open up the swatch, and then we could click on whatever texture that we have selected and you can kind of see how that's just simply applied and you can see the seam going along here just because of the way the the uh, the UVs are okay and we'll talk more about UVs a little bit later and setting those up you can create uh, more of a custom UV layout if you want to okay so we have a texture applied uh, what if we want to let's say uh, convert that into uh, poly paint so we'll go to poly paint and we can actually create poly paint from texture. So we could hit that button and I just want to make sure that I've got RGB on. And you can see that that's now transferred. If I subdivide my mesh one more time and create poly paint, it should be a little bit more detailed. Okay, and so now you can see that this texture is actually off but now I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing this model as poly paint. So then I could come in here and I could select this color in here and try to come in. I'm going to turn off texture. So it's not painting with that texture. We want to actually just paint color. And I could come in and paint over this because now it's poly paint. It's not a texture anymore. We're not painting on the actual image. We're using poly paint. I could come in here and select this and just a very in a very simple way you know paint over whatever parts you want to paint modify it however you want to modify it okay so this is poly paint right now so if we wanted to convert this back into a texture map we would go into the texture map sub palette and then we would say okay new from poly paint so it's going to create a new texture from our poly paint now, we don't have any UVs on this, so it's not really uh, going to work. So, very quickly, if we want to create a simple UV map, we want to go to the lowest level, go to UV map, and you can choose the size 
that you want to actually create. And then we can say, okay, I want to create, and there's different ways of tiling. Now these are typically going to be um, kind of automatic ways of creating UVs. So I'll just do the packed UV tiles. They're not going to visually make too much sense because everything's kind of separated out. The UV Master plugin will be better for that, and we'll talk about that uh, more later. But we've added some simple UVs, so now I can go back up to the top level. And let's go ahead and under Texture Map, let's create a new texture from Polypaint. So looking at this now, we're actually looking at a texture map. And if we look at this, it is all broken down differently than we saw before. So you can see uh, that relates to how the packed UV tiles are done. If you use something like UV Master or if you do the UVs in another application, you'd be able to see uh, the difference in that that would make a little bit more sense. But on our model, it looks great because ZBrush understands how it broke down the UVs and how it can reapply it. So right now, this texture map still is located just on uh, here. So what we want to do is clone it and that'll enable us to come in here and use it over on this side. If we want to come in and start painting, you can see I can paint with texture. Um, or if I want to export this out, now I can export it. So I can just say export, export that as a new image. So we've taken the texture map in, we've converted it to poly paint, we've done some painting on it, and then saved it back out as a texture, and uh, and then exported that back out. So you know, if you're going to be painting on a texture, you want to convert that into a poly paint, but then you're able to go in and, and convert it back. So, you know, with any of these, you can come in here, and as you see, we can paint with that texture. If you want to change it to your drag rectangle, you can drag out instances of your texture. If you have, you know, labels that you want to add or things like that, you can very quickly add those to your model. Okay, and again, this is poly paint, so we create new from poly paint. Now we create a new texture that has all of that detail on it, including the little designs that we've just added. All right, so that's a simple look at how we can start to import and use textures along with poly paint. Keep in mind that if you want to apply those to your subtool, you need to have them on over here. And then if you want to actually modify those, you can convert them to poly paint, modify those, and then save them back out as a texture map and then uh, re-export that. So now that we've taken a look at textures, let's take a look at a really cool way to create geometry in ZBrush. One of the great things uh, about ZBrush is the variety of different ways that you can actually create meshes. And uh, a great way to do that is using Z spheres with adaptive skin. So we'll take a look at that in the next lesson.